And he is here with us right now, the always charming Henry Golding, everybody. Hey! What's up? Henry, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for doing the sketch with us earlier. <laughs> now, I'm so happy you're here, and I'm so happy you announced some very, very big news yesterday. I did. You and your lovely wife, you guys are expecting your first child. We are so happy for you. Um, how's everybody doing? How, you know, how are you feeling? Is everyone okay at home? I mean, I think you can expect a fair amount of quarantine babies coming out because that's pretty much all you had to do uh, for a good five months. Um, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited and uh, extremely terrified at the same time. You have like three? We have three, yes. Oh my gosh. Now, how, how far along How far along are we? Uh, we're, we're about halfway. Oh, we're about, wow. Yeah, Great. Five, six weeks. Okay. Uh, Hang on. Do you uh, six know? weeks, five, five, six months. That, yes. that would be very, <laughs> yeah. It's a quick baby. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> so quick you're five, around. six months in, that's incredible. Yeah. You know what you're going to get? You're going to get loads of people just coming up and giving you advice. Oh, that's oh. all that's going to happen. Have you got any for me? I do have some, but then it's. I'm, but yeah, I'm aware that it gets annoying <laughs> when that happens. When you do, you want my one bit of advice? Go for it. I'll give it to you. You sure? Yeah. But I wanted to make it clear that I said, "Would you like the advice?" Uh, people are just going to come I, up. And I go, accept your advice. Okay. Here's what I did. All of our kids. So, uh, and I've no idea if this works, but it feels like a nice thing to do. Uh, about a month or five weeks or so before this baby's born, mm -hmm. go out and buy, like, a, a really nice blanket, right? OK. And every time when you get into bed, cos that last month, you, you are really not needed in any of it, uh -huh. really. You're just a... You're, you're a, a bystander. Butler. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, uh, and I would get this blanket and I would get into bed and I'd wrap it around my body, or if I was watching TV or a film or anything, I'd shove it up my jumper, anywhere I was around, and you wake up in the morning and it's, like, it's, on the, it's in the bottom of the bed or it's fallen on the floor, but you do that every night. And then when you go to the hospital, when this baby's born, this child's born, the most important thing that can happen is that the, the child is lay on your wife's skin. That the first right. thing it feels yeah, is your wife's skin, skin. skin. And then when they take him or her off and you clean them up, you take this blanket and you say, well, you wrap them in this so that oh. the first time they feel warm and safe smells like you. Oh, and I have no idea if it works, that. but... It's you did a that nice with all three. That's amazing. I'll there take it. Now, I want to talk to you about this, Henry. Last month, you participated in maybe the most star studded Zoom read of all yeah. time. You, you did Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Here you are here. This That's is a big right. cast to be part of. Were you nervous? Um, slightly. I'm, I'm not going to lie. There was, I mean, you've got Sean Penn, Jimmy <laughs> Kimmel, Jennifer Aniston. Can you recognize old Shia there? In the middle. Where's Shire? He's, he's in his Shire's garage, here. In his truck. Um, really get Morgan Freeman, <laughs> Julia Roberts. Yeah. I mean, the big takeaway from this was the, the Brad Pitt, Jennifer oh, yeah. Aniston. And that, was... that's me holding back my smile, because this is the point, I think, where they literally said hello to each other. And it was, it was such, a, uh, it was such a, an experience. I don't know, it was so weird. But Aniston's like, oh, how are you, Pitt? And then, ah, oh, that's a terrible, terrible no, uh, impersonation. And Brad's like, uh, Aniston, yeah, good. You know, and everybody was just trying to hold back these smiles. And I'm just sitting there like a Cheshire cat, just grinning from ear to ear. But everybody kept it cool. So they just call each other by their... Yeah, surnames, I guess. Surnames, yeah. by their second names. Mm hmm That might be why it didn't work. <laughs> Possibly. No baby names for them, You yeah. know, I think, if you, I think if you constantly just call your partner by the surname... <laughs> It would get quite annoying after a while, wouldn't it? Particularly if your surname's Pitt. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Which I think gets overlooked with Brad Pitt, cos he's so beautiful. Terrible second name. He can get away with it, though, I'm sure. <laughs> Isn't it? It's a terrible second name. Like, if I was James Pitt, it would fit. <laughs> Anne Ryan. Um, <laughs> let's talk about your new film, Monsoon. For anyone who hasn't seen it, tell them what it's about and who you play. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a young man in search of his identity. He goes back to Vietnam. Um, it kind of puts on that question of, are we, um, you know, defined by our nationality or by our cultural identity? And so he grew up in the UK, never understanding sort of Vietnam, goes back and feels alienated. And it's his, his journey trying to understand his past. Now, you shot the movie in Vietnam, yes. right? Which is a place I've always wanted to go. Amazing, you got yeah. to go. Mainly because I'm kind of into... I'm into trying some, like, proper Vietnamese... 
cuisine. Did they you get to delicacies. do any of that? Yeah, there's, um, I mean, you've got your normal stuff, you know, your, your fur and, and all the, the rolls and things, but they do have a couple of little street foods that on a rainy day are absolutely amazing. So they have the, um, I, know, I, I know the name in, in Indonesian or Filipino, it's uh, balut. So it's the, the fetal egg. So it's an egg that is on the verge of sort of creating a chicken, um, but they get it, they boil it, so inside becomes like a soup, like a chicken stock soup, and you kind of eat it with the feathers, and the, I'm, yeah, you're looking terrified. It's actually pretty delicious. I'm not gonna lie. It tastes like hot chicken soup on, on like a rainy day. Well, then just have a hot chicken soup. <laughs> I mean, that's my, that's, my, <laughs> that's my feeling on that. You know, people go, no, it's fine, it's just like a hot chicken soup. Well, then I'll have a hot chicken soup. <laughs> and I won't eat the, what is it called, a fetal egg? Yeah. They should like change that name. <laughs> it, it, that's it never looks... going to sell. Well, the film looks great, and your performance is getting the, the, the reviews. It richly... Just...